This adorable reason why dogs follow you into the bathroom and other behavior you didn't pick up on The bond between dog and owner is certainly one of a kind having a loyal pup in the household ensures an incredible amount of love from dog to owner in a man's best friend fashion Although you may not think so it's actually fairly easy to understand what your pup is asking of you Some dogs are incredibly obvious when they want delightful bits of love and kisses But sometimes dogs can behave in a subtle manner as well Unfortunately, we can't physically speak to our dogs, but here are some signs your dog makes and their translation Following you around of course a dog that follows you around for every step you take isn't completely ideal Especially in a more private places like a bathroom, but you can't deny that it's completely adorable According to vets this type of behavior is simply because it's a dog's instinct to always do things with your family cue the Oz licking your body or face while some people love it others might find it completely gross It's a sure thing to say that dogs like giving people a couple licks every once in a while What you probably don't know is that giving licks is actually a form of submissive behavior And it helps dogs in easing their stress while also showing you love of course Knowing when something is wrong Dogs don't need to physically speak to their owners to sense that something is wrong or if you're upset Dogs are incredibly good at reading body language and will also use their senses to detect if something's wrong They'll also probably be more than willing to console you if you're feeling down Sitting on your feet or between your legs Although this is often mistaken for possessive behavior. It's actually a sign of anxiety or nervousness in fact Dominance is rarely the problem your dog is just trying to feel safer by staying close to someone they feel comfortable with Obsessed with socks One thing is turning an old tube sock into a tug-of-war toy But when your pup starts stealing all your socks, it can eventually turn into a problem This actually has a very simple explanation your socks carry a stronger scent than the rest of your clothes Usually of sweat and yes to a dog's nose everyone's feet smell Going crazy after a bath So you give your dog a bath and he cooperates because he's a good boy but as soon as you're done drying him off he takes off soon He's running around the house like the speed of light and you're amazed There are two possible explanations for this one is that although your dog is good during bath time It's still a stressful experience for him by running around it gives him a way to relieve that stress Another reason why they run around is to get the stink of the bath off Dogs don't really like the clean smell of soap and so running around might get the smell off them Walking around in a circle before laying down Very often dogs walk in circles before settling down for a deep sleep. This behavior is actually hardwired in them from prehistoric times Your pups wild dog ancestors would walk around in circles to make a nest Which was an area with stomp down grass or underbrush where they could sleep by doing this It can also drive out snakes or large insects that might have otherwise bothered them Going to the bathroom along a north-south axis Dogs aren't just particular about their nets, but they also like to go number two while being aligned with the north-south axis of the Earth's magnetic field Researchers were able to prove this by doing a study involving 57 different breeds And they're unsure how the dogs are able to sense the magnetic field or why they have such a specific position Jumping on you Although it may seem like play behavior or enthusiastic greeting jumping up on you is actually a sign that your dog is trying to assert their dominance over you by encouraging this behavior with affection you are reinforcing the behavior Eating poop yes, it's one of the grossest things a dog can do eating poop or in more specific terms Coprophagia is actually a common habit amongst dogs. We may never fully understand why so many dogs enjoy eating feces there are many theories that include it being a sign of illness or malnutrition or it's the effect of anxiety or stress or a form of pica Well, this habit isn't really dangerous to dogs. It's quite disgusting and not exactly healthy Specific training can help you break this habit Leaning on you Does your dog constantly lean on you? Many dogs like to lean on their owners legs feet or bodies. This seems especially true in giant dog breeds The reason for this is simple your dog wants to be closer to you 
a less common reason for doing this may be a sign of fear or anxiety Leaning may also be related to separation anxiety, which will show through other signs if you leave your dog alone Panting Panting is a completely normal doggy behavior. However, what's the reason for it? Dogs pant mostly to cool themselves off because they don't sweat the way humans do Dogs have to rely on the exchange of air at their mouths to cool their bodies off to assist them We should do our best to keep our dogs cool preventing heat exhaustion and heat stroke Some dogs can pant due to anxiety stress or fear Removing your dog from the situation is the best action you can take Looking in the mirror Does your dog look or bark at his reflection? This behavior is completely normal when you think about it. There's a moving odorless dog that appears in the house it's probably about as scary as him seeing a ghost many dogs eventually learn to ignore the weird specter Funny fears Does the sight of the vacuum cleaner send your dog running and hiding do they fear from cars or the dishwasher or maybe even a slippery floor? You might try to reason with their fear, but for many dogs ordinary objects can cause a fright for them Fear is a very complex thing for them. Some dogs develop fears after bad experiences while others develop fears after lack of exposure Fears can also be made worse by dogs owners if a dog's afraid whenever the dishwasher starts and the owner either Reprimands the dog or is overly consoling to them. The fear can be reinforced This is why early socialization and exposure is important to help a dog develop a confident personality Tail chasing Watching your dog run around in a circle trying to catch their tails can be extremely entertaining Older dogs who don't grow out of this behavior may chase their tails as a way to get attention release energy or rid anxiety But in most cases, it's just a playful game a medical problem such as an injury skin irritation or neurological condition can also cause a dog to chase their tail Digging Digging is an instinctual activity and it's written incredibly deep in a dog's DNA It's also especially strong in terrier breeds Dogs in natural packs will dig to hide food or to try and uncover food like small rodents a Den dug in the cool earth can also provide shelter from the heat Head tilting Strange noises speaking in an unfamiliar tone or even whistling can lead to your dog doing this cute pose The science behind it is simple your dog's very sensitive hearing is picking something different They're interested in figuring out what that noise is and how to make sense of it Yawning when your dog is constantly yawning you might think he just needs some sleep But a dog yawning doesn't usually mean he's tired He may be interested in napping, but it can also be a sign of fear or stress If your dog is yawning at an increased rate around a new person you should probably hinder the introduction He's either picking up vibes that he doesn't feel comfortable with or he's fearful for a less obvious reason No matter what a forced introduction isn't a very good idea Biting Puppies nip at their owners while they learn to communicate with their pet parents It usually happens while they're playing since young dogs often communicate with their mouths in order to interact It may also happen during training or for perhaps no reason you can identify if your young pup is a regular nipper It's important to stop it before it develops into a more problematic dog behavior down the line Dogs usually bite due to anxiety fear or aggression try to identify which mood is motivating your pet to bite Crotch sniffing. Oh, the dreaded and embarrassing crotch sniffing. However, understand the cause of the behavior will help you realize that your dog isn't trying to be rude. If you've seen two dogs meet for the first time, you know what a dog's version of getting a sniff of each other's genital areas and rear ends. In dogs, these areas contain scent glands that provide information about the dog, like their gender and health. Humans also have scent glands that offer clues about who they are. Hence a dog is just sniffing around in order to get to know the person the behavior isn't harmful But it can be annoying the best way to train your dog to stop is by rewarding them for sitting still when a guest arrives rather than going in for a sniff Never when he is alone In a research study published by animal planet It was noticed that while your dog might wag his tail when he's happy He only wags his tail in the presence of people or other animals you can leave their favorite toy in the room or a tasty snack and that tail stays put it only wags when there are others around Tail chasing can indicate a problem We all love to watch our dog chase his tail in circles from time to time. Let's face it. This can be fun for a few minutes 
But the reality is that constant tail chasing can be an indication of a deeper problem such as OCD. Yes, that's right, your dog can suffer from an obsessive compulsive disorder, which may be treatable by your vet. Your dog's tail is trying to tell you something. Have you ever noticed that your dog wags his tail in different directions? Experts agree that if your dog is waving his tail to the right, he's happy or relaxed. But on the other hand, if he's waving his tail to the left, he may be feeling anxious, nervous, or threatened. As humans, noticing these subtle messages can be hard, but you can bet other dogs understand them very clearly. It's a balancing act. Animal experts believe that the tail evolved as a way to help dogs keep their balance when walking along narrow ledges or paths. While they may no longer need this type of assistance, that tail has found numerous other uses. Tail wagging is a learned behavior. Dogs do not start wagging their tails the minute they're born. It's a skill they need to learn. Most puppies will start wagging their tail around one and a half months after they're born as they try to communicate with their siblings and their mother. Go paddle your dog. Most dogs love to swim, but what you may not know is that there are a number of breeds, such as retrievers, who use their tail like a paddle or udder to help them move through the water. An extension of the spine. Your dog's tail is literally an external extension of the spine. It has its own discs, muscles, and anchors. Being more exposed than the remainder spine, the tail is far more susceptible to injury, but in most cases will recover fully. Marking his territory. Alpha male dogs hold their tails high when marking their territory. By being able to hold their tail high, your dog can release more of a scent from his anal glands. At the same time, if your dog is scared or feels threatened, he'll tuck his tail between his legs so as to not release any scent. He may also use his tail as a fan to spread his scent in the air. No docking allowed. While many breeders and owners in the U.S. have their dog's tail docked, there are many countries in the world, such as Australia, Canada, Finland, Greece, Norway, and Turkey that have outlawed this practice. Hair of the dog. We've all heard the term hair of the dog, but did you know this phrase was coined in approximately 23 AD? Roman naturalist and author Pliny the Elder was said to believe that the best way to cure rabies was to take the ashes from the burnt tail hairs of the dog responsible for the bite and rub them in the wound. Eye contact. Dogs communicate in subtle ways with their faces, especially with their eyes. Constant eye contact from your dog is his way of showing his trust and affection towards you. Think of it as an understated, I love you. Avoiding eye contact, on the other hand, is a sign that your dog is uncomfortable, scared, or cowering after doing something naughty. Tail posture. Perhaps the most widely recognizable ways dogs communicate is with their tails. In addition to the joyful wagging tail, a dog's tail can communicate a range of other emotions. For example, a slow wagging tail means your dog is feeling cautious, and a stiff tail means your dog is on high alert. A low tail means your pup is feeling content, but a tuck tail means that he's feeling scared. If your dog is wagging his tail vigorously enough to make his butt wiggle, we all know what I'm talking about here, he's elated to see you. Tongue flicking. You'll notice your dog flicking his tongue quickly in and out of his mouth when you're about to scold him. This means your dog knows that he's done something naughty and he feels bad about it. If your dog flicks his tongue at you, it's his way of telling you that he's sorry. Sneezing and yawning. Dogs sometimes try to communicate with us by sneezing and yawning unnecessarily. A misplaced sneeze or yawn means that your dog is uncomfortable and stressed, often around new pets or people. Believe it or not, humans do this when they feel uncomfortable too. This can get confusing because dogs also yawn when they're feeling content around you. The key is to look for misplaced yawning in unfamiliar circumstances. Belly Exposure in addition to face and tail movement, dogs also try to communicate using the rest of their body. If your pup rolls over and bears his belly to you, he's initiating this gesture to appease you, but a belly rub is always welcome. Dogs also communicate with each other this way, rolling over is a sign of passive resistance to the perceived threat. Play Bowing If your dog faces you and dives into a bow with his front legs on the ground and his butt in the air, this is known as the Play Bow and it's your dog's way of telling you that it's playtime. If you want to make your dog's day, try play bowing back at him. 
Your basic downward dog yoga pose will do the trick and your pup will be grateful that you're trying to speak his language. Raising a paw. Dogs communicate that they want attention by raising a paw and touching you. You probably see this most often when you're sitting and your dog approaches you to put a paw on your knee. In puppies, this is communicating by pawing the air repeatedly. Freezing. Have you ever approached your dog with a bone and noticed the way he suddenly freezes mid-chew upon noticing you? Freezing in the middle of an action is a clear way dogs communicate that they're feeling uncertain and want to be left alone. If your dog freezes mid-chew or in the middle of another action, it's best to honor his wishes and just give him some space. Bringing things to you. Every once in a while, your dog might bring you a ball, a stick, or another toy. Most people read this as an invitation to play, which it very well might be. But if your dog brings you one of his favorite toys and drops it at your feet, it's more likely he's giving it to you as a gift. This is your pup's way of showing affection for you by sharing his favorite things with you. Leaning against you. Last but not least, if your dog is leaning against you, this is your dog's way of trying to cuddle with you. Unfortunately, he physically can't hug you, so cuddling against you is the best way to show affection for his favorite human. Thank you.